Greetings, the Light Tribe, Janine Palmer here, Spirit Soul of the Moon, for standing holy high with them. Uh, <laughs> okay, so when things come across your path, um, you know, into your level of awareness on your Facebook Messenger, in conversations, um, however that comes across, you know, we have the choice of how we're going to respond or react. <laughs> this is something that... Uh, I don't know, I think I'm very passionate about because it's part of my calling, okay? Um, and I only have a limited understanding of it to date and what it means to me and how I understand it. It has to do with Christianity, whatever that is. I was brought up as Christian, so I had a limited understanding of it at that time. And then um, after life events, I was... Mm, driven, guided, called to study it much more deeply, much, much, much more deeply. And I'm so glad that I did. And I'm so, so glad that I continue to do so. And it is interesting to have these deeper conversations of what our understanding of something is. Okay. And then we might see certain things and behaviors um, that boggle the mind Okay, and we might talk about it because we don't understand it, because we're trying to understand it, or we understand it to enough of a degree that we feel called to share a message, whatever that is for whatever purpose. And I would like to reiterate again here that this is not intended to be disrespectful to anyone, any individual, any denomination, any religious group. This is just my limited understanding of some heinous shit that goes on this world okay that people hide behind religions and I cannot believe how freaking judgmental so many so-called Christians are for instance um, I know a really nice lady who shares certain articles or posts with me about Christianity um, and I feel like I understand it at a different level than that is. Um, so this evening I get one that says, we just had the royal wedding, okay? Let people be who they are and what they are and have their life experiences without judging it. Is that possible for humanity? Some, human some of humanity, yes, absolutely it is. Um, but this article said something like, The deceiver in the royal wedding with the snake and Satan won a victory Saturday at the royal wedding. Are you freaking kidding me? I wasn't going to pull out the article, but I did. I thought I better just have a quick look at this. I don't know who wrote it. But whatever idiot wrote it has their head well up their ass. They don't even know the difference between their ass and a hole in the ground, apparently. So this individual is trying to find fault with the way the wedding was set up, maybe the choices of what happened and who did what. So that flaming idiot was swimming in judgment, okay? Didn't Jesus say, judge not lest ye be judged? Why do so many Christian people do it? I don't understand. Okay, so um, this person was wanting to point out how finding fault, judging, people were there for their own good reasons. And they shared something from their heart for a purpose of love, for something to come together where they're trying to integrate something that means something to them, and that is nobody's business to judge. And yet, here is some dumbass motherfucker, sorry, posing as a Christian, hiding behind Christianity, in the judgment seat, talking about how Satan's won a victory at the frickin' royal wedding. Really? Satan's in that dumbass that wrote the article. That's where Satan is. Not wherever he's pointing his finger in judgment and blame. That's not where Satan is. Satan's in the idiot who wrote the judging article. It's like, 
Let's find fault. Let's pick it apart. Let's say it's Satan. Let's pull your head out of your ass so you can start to see the light, you freaking idiot. Um, like I said, I don't know who wrote it. I am talking about the content. Okay, to sit and judge someone when you claiming to be a Christian and you want to keep sides fighting against each other, that's the devil. That's the devil, right? If you want to call it that, whatever dark force wants to keep people fighting against each other through politics and religion, that's the devil. Works through religions, works through politics, works through people who write stupid ass articles, who want to pick apart. That was a beautiful day for some people, okay? And who are the people who want to sit back and find, find fault and judge it? and say that so-and-so did something wrong or said something wrong and Satan got in there. Satan's in the dumbass who wrote the freaking article who is hiding behind a label of Christian who is not a true Christian. Who cares? People that act like that and call themselves Christians, they are not Christians. They are imposters. Okay? So this is just for awareness of the judging that goes on. It is so foul and so hideous and these people want to feel so superior and they're going to write their little article and you know find fault with the people in the wedding or who did what you know like people came and spoke and they said something from their heart that meant something um and other people want to come and find fault with what people did who were invited there for a purpose and someone in another country wants to sit back in the judgment seat and find fault and call themselves a Christian. I don't think so. I would just love to invite Christians or any denomination of religion or religious ideology that thinks it's better than anyone else to take a good look in the mirror. I would like to invite them. Why don't you try to go a day without judging something? to try to make yourself feel superior so that you feel like you're winning and that your side is right because you don't realize that that's not what religion's about and that is not what Christ was teaching. I invite Christians to understand more deeply who was Jesus? What was he really doing? Aside from what they taught you in Sunday school and aside from your programming and conditioning, who is Jesus? Do you even know him? I don't think so. And then what is the energy of Christ, which is love? Does it judge people? Does it judge a particular type of a preacher that it doesn't agree with or doesn't like the language that was used? Not your business. If you pulled your head out of your ass and you wipe the shit off your face and you look in the mirror and invite yourself to try to find out what Jesus really means, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't judge people. There's some shitty stuff going on in this world, and it's done in the name of religion, and I'm supposed to be a messenger to bring attention and awareness to it. Stop judging.